All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, book, with my October 2015 update video, part two. So yeah, um, in this video, I want to talk about some upcoming stuff, as well as uh, just kind of wax a little bit of nostalgia here and talk about some personal life stuff as well. So, as far as uh, different site updates and things like that, um, I do have a, a couple YouTube videos that are going to be coming out. Um, on Monday, there's going to be my collaboration video with uh, one of my friends, Zach from the Phoenix 7 787 channel. Um, we went out to Skyline Chili, and uh, I had the uh, <laughs> like a Skyline Chili burrito, so it's not really Skyline Chili, but whatever. And uh, he had an actual, you know, Skyline three-way. So there's that. And yeah, visited him down in uh, Cincinnati while he was in town. You know caught up with each other and uh, went around the whole Cincinnati, Newport, Kentucky area. It was, you know, I've never really been down that way before, so it was kind of new and interesting for me to get all that stuff. And, of course, you know, I took a lot of pictures, so if you follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash theandysan, then you'll have uh, probably seen that already. So, yeah. <laughs> so there's that. And I'm also uh, basically taking all this, you know, extra time to wrap up some loose ends and stuff like that as far as, you know, video projects that I had to put on the back burner due to work and whatever. So um, I'm finishing up this uh, most recent season of First Impact Anime. It's been a long time coming, long time in the works, and you know, I do apologize for all the delays, but you know, work. <laughs> it is what it is. So uh, right now I'm working on the season finale for it, and uh, once that's done, I'm hoping to uh, set up a time with uh, the Talking Vidalkin, also known as Ariopolis to uh, work on a new series, or a new season, whatever the case may be, who knows, surprise. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that'll be coming out very soon. And uh, I guess the plan with, with that season, if it does come to pass, is that I'll work on the entire season and then once the entire season is done, then I'll release it, so um, there's that. And also, um, I'm planning on kind of redoing the uh, the classic First Impact anime episodes and stuff like that and just kind of like remastering them as it were because we started the series shoot it was like over five years ago actually you know this was uh, before I went out to boot camp so yeah this was like 2009 2010 somewhere around there so back in the day of YouTube <laughs> so and I'm going dark sorry about that just had to walk around so um yeah, I'm planning on remastering them, you know, basically just improving the audio and uh, putting up a background so that way I can show the anime in question without without it getting flagged and whatnot, so there's that. As far as a schedule for those uh, particular episodes and stuff like that, I don't have one as of yet because I still have to uh, finish up the season finale, and then once that's done, then I'm going to start remastering them. When the remastering process isn't going to take nearly as long as making an episode from scratch because the episode's pretty much done, really. It's just, you know, fixing up the audio and then putting on the background. That's about it. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, definitely look forward to uh, that as well as, you know, a new upcoming season. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, aside from all that stuff, I'm planning on... Uh, I, I got a couple uh, video ideas and stuff like that, as well as uh, some new ideas for my blog. That's www.theandysan.com, if you don't know. So, uh, a couple ideas for my blog. Um, one of them I want to do is like a... Uh, kind of like what uh, Danny Chu does with like his uh, photo roundups and, you know, A Week in Tokyo series. And that, you know, just kind of go over like a different subject or a different area or something like that. And just do like a... Uh, like a day in the life, but in uh, photographs. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> the word escapes me. But uh, basically, you know, something like that. And I got some, you know, photographs from Cincinnati when I was down there visiting my friend Zach. So um, I just kind of want to start off the series with that. And then maybe, you know, go back in the archives, kind of see uh, if I can, you know, rustle up a little something, something. And then, you know, do some new stuff as well. So, yeah. <laughs> So I think that's going to be an interesting new series, and it's kind of going to kind of put some uh, some zest in my old blog because you know, as you guys know, I've been in the middle of, uh, in addition to wrapping up a lot of loose ends with videos and stuff like that, I've also been in the middle of uh, 
basically just revamping my old blog because you know I think now is a good time to start working on it because before I was too busy with uh, work and all that to really you know keep keep it up you know so um, I kind of lost interest after a while but you know I think now I got I got it set up to where you know that's not really gonna happen anymore so uh, yeah and plus you know it's nice to have in uh, an alternate means of uh, submitting content and whatnot you know so it's not just videos or just pictures you know you got your written blog posts as well and you know you can kind of uh, compile everything a bit nicer on the website and stuff like that plus it's also I guess like my overall plan for it is to be like a hub for all my content and whatnot so um, you know I'm also looking into you know maybe getting into podcasting as well so That'll be another, uh, you know, way to, you know, gather everything up and stuff like that so you guys can see all that. So, um, yeah. Now, as far as my podcast idea goes, i got a couple ideas that are kind of milling around in the old nog-nog. So, um, oh, hey, check this out. Random ADD moment. There's the, uh, the windmill that you guys often see in my Instagram posts as of late. So... There it is, just a chucking away. And uh, speaking of windmill, sorry about the uh, random uh, uh, wind noise. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically what's going on with uh, the content making and you know the videos and the pictures and whatnot. So you know, on to more uh, personal life stuff. So as you guys know, almost uh, almost a month ago, I got you know honorably discharged from the uh, U.S. Navy. So I'm officially a veteran. <laughs> So I've been, I've been experimenting with, uh, with growing my hair out and stuff like that. So um, one of the things that I heard as far as like if you're growing your hair out from something short to long is uh, to basically like keep the sides fairly trim and then like have the top of it just kind of grow over. So I had my mom kind of trim the sides but I think she went a little, a little too short with the sides. But you know, it's, I kind of like it. And it's, it's growing on me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe once the top starts coming down a bit more, it'll it'll start filling in. I'm not really sure, you know. I never grew up my hair before, and I figure since I'm going to be going back to college and whatnot, you know, it's kind of a good time to do it because, you know, I'm kind of at that age where I may or may not lose my hair. I don't know. But, you know, I have it now, so I figure do it while at least I have it, right? <laughs> so... It'll just be a fun little experiment, I guess you could say. And then, you know, once I go job hunting and stuff like that, you know, we'll trim it up proper so I look professional. <laughs> and uh, another thing is, you know, the goatee. So, um, I know I can't grow out the full, you know, Navy vet beard like everybody seems to have. But uh, I'm trying my best, you know, just trying to get a little, little goatee action going and then growing out the sideburns, you know, a little bit. You know, some sides look better than others but you know hopefully it'll even out maybe I don't know <laughs> again it's just something new I'm trying out so yeah there's that but uh, one of the main things I want to talk about is just uh, you know, I'm going dark again sorry it's just you know my whole experience being back in my ho hometown of uh, Salina Ohio so um, I left here to join the Navy about over five years ago so um, a lot has changed and yet a lot hasn't so you know it's kind of interesting going around Ohio or going around Salina rather and seeing you know the, the differences and stuff like that and one of the main things is that the, the majority of my friends are gone you know a lot of them once they uh, you know graduated college they packed their bags and left really you know and they're they're off to you know better things and stuff like that, better jobs and whatnot, so, you know, I'm proud of them. But, you know, since I'm back home in Salina, it's like, you know, nobody's around to hang out anymore. And, you know, if they are, they're, you know, in the area, it's, you know, they're busy fi visiting their own family and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. And that's just one of the things, I guess, about growing up, you know, as, as, as the years pass, I see a lot more of my, uh, my friends, you know, getting married and having kids. 
not always in that order, but that's okay, you know, <laughs> I'm fine with it, but, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just the passage of time, I guess, so, for you, uh, younger viewers and stuff like that, you know, it's just something you have to come to, uh, come to terms with when you get older, you know, so, and me, hell, you know, believe it or not, I'm gonna be 30 in a couple of months, you know, December 7th, 1985, man. 30 years ago. It's hard to believe. God, like, I remember when I was, you know, in my very early 20s, you know, when I was going to college and stuff like that the first time around. And I told myself that, you know, hey, you know, I know everybody's getting married and having kids now, but, you know, I want to I wanna live my life. I want to do my thing. And then once I'm in my 30s, you know, I'll settle down somewhere and stuff like that but it's you know once I actually got up to that point now it's just like I don't know you know I'm definitely open to the idea of getting married and having kids and stuff like that but uh, I don't know I just I think you know there's there's more to do out there in the world and I guess call it greedy or whatever but you know uh, I, th I don't think 10 years is enough time to be honest with you for some it is, but not for me, you know, I definitely have more stuff that I want to do, and yeah, I can do it with, you know, a partner, or, and or with kids, which would be interesting and fun, but, you know, I just, I just gotta meet that special someone, you know, and, uh, I'm not gonna settle, I guess, in that sense, you know, where I just settle for close enough, you know, so. It is what it is, and, you know, some some days I don't mind being alone. It's kind of nice, actually, because you don't have to juggle your plans with anybody. You just do what you want to do, you know? <laughs> then there's other times where it gets kind of lonely. But it's not always lonely, so, you know. It's just one of those things, I guess. So, anyway, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, like I said, being back in this line has got me kind of thinking about how Salina is now versus uh, how it was in the past when I was growing up and stuff like that and uh, the fact that my friends aren't around anymore you know in town so you know I'd go to uh, go to either like Walmart or you know one of the restaurants or something like that and it's like you know I don't know anybody anymore you know because usually I'd know either my friends or like my friend's little brother or little sister or something like that and you know, I'd walk in and say, you know, hey, how's so-and-so doing, you know, how's your brother, how's your sister, or whatever doing, and they're like, oh yeah, they're fine, you know, whatever, but they're not around, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going dark, so, it's just something that's kind of odd, because it's all the same places that I knew from growing up, but, uh, you know, people that I grew up with just aren't around anymore, so it's, uh, Strange dichotomy, I guess you could say. Here's your word of the day, dichotomy. <laughs> but, like I said before, it's just a part of growing up, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm getting a little rambly here, you know, just kind of waxing nostalgia and stuff like that. So, like I said, you know, I'm hoping to uh, reconnect with old friends and stuff like that before I head up to Michigan. And, hell, even, even when I am in Michigan, you know, I still want to come down here every once in a while and visit everybody, you know. It's not like I'm going to another planet or something like that so yeah it's just uh you know up in Michigan it'll be a bit harder to do just because I'll be further away but it won't be impossible so there's that but anyway before I get a little too rambly which I think it's a little too late I'm sorry <laughs> better sign off so yeah this is the Andy Sign. sign it for now like I said <laughs> thanking you guys boop, for tuning into this video and watching my other stuff also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs Comment, subscribing, send for friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.